they handing you like a million dollars and you like, oh, and just walking away from it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I'm a million dollars, but. <laughs> oh my God, we so dizzy. Oh, me too, actually. Oh. <laughs> So, my hair is so, I gotta brush my hair out. Today is, um, Mon Wen Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I just got back home from the gym. Well, actually, no. I went to the gym. Today was ab day. Today, I didn't think I was gonna be able to make it to the gym today, because yesterday my back was hurting so bad when I got home. Like, all night long, I could barely even move, which reminds me, I need to make sure I stretch when I get done with this. But, um, I woke up this morning, I felt a lot better. I'm trying to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because Friday I have physical therapy. So I don't think I'm going to go to the gym that day. I think I'm probably just going to walk home, make sure I put my brace on. Anyways, we're going off on a tangent again. I'm home from the gym. Okay, help me. So went to the gym, got myself, was fitting to leave. And of course, gym guy, not gym crush, gym guy asked me to go out. And I'm like... Oh, I don't feel like it. I was going to tell him no. Because I'm like, I was sort of mad. Because I'm like, I told him, you know, when he wants to go out to let me know in advance. But I tried to charge it to him probably have being forgetful. Because like I said previously, you know, he had been in a, um, he had got hit by a car. So he has certain things that I think sort of like deals with his mental cognition. Girl, that's me how to describe it. But um, he wanted to go out. I was like, oh, I'm going to say no. I really want to go home. But I was like, no, I'm going to go. So we went out to eat. Um, I, it's like I told him last time. It's never going to be 30 minutes. I think we were out for like two two or three hours. Again, I think it might have been three. I'm hot. It's hot. But yeah, when I with him, I keep trying to keep this dude as a friend. But I just feel like he is not allowing it to be that. You know, he... He wants more, and he's very uh, open about it, I guess you want to say. He, he's, he keeps telling me I'm beautiful and all this other stuff. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's so much to it. I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but. And then, when he asked me out, Jim Crush was there. And Jim Crush, he started getting my freaking nerves. So when he first came to the gym... He saw me in the room, and he came over there and started stretching beside me. And, like, he'll he'll make every effort to come be by me and look at me. Like, not, like, just full-on staring, but, like, I'll look up and I'll just see him staring at me here and there. He'll do all of that, but he can never get the nerve to say anything. Ever. And I'm just, like... So, anyways, Jim Guy is asking me out. And Jim Crush is there. And I'm like, is he seeing this? Has he seen him ask me out before? Like, does he think that me and him are dating? So, like, now he definitely don't want to talk to me, you know? Like, this is awkward. This is just so freaking crazy. And, like, normally, like, when he asks me out, like, I'll go wait outside the gym because I don't want people in my business. Like, I don't want people to be like, oh, they're dating or whatever. I don't want people making any kind of assumptions. Like, normally I'll wait outside and then we'll meet up outside. I'm like, if Jim Crush was ever going to approach me, maybe that's one of the reasons why he's not because he thinks I'm taken. I don't know. But this is just a mess. But anyways, yeah, we went out. I had a good time. It's just, I don't know how to feel about him and the situation. Like, I'm trying to just... I got a piece of hair. I'm trying to just let things happen as they do. I, I've been praying, praying, cause like I don't, I don't know how I feel about. Like honestly, sincerely, I don't know how I feel about him. I, I don't know if I want this to be something or, cause I keep saying, oh, we're just gonna be, we're just gonna be friends. And I have moments where I say that, then I have moments where I'm like, I like him, but then I'm like, do I? You know, it's it's weird. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just gonna let things play out as they play out. Anyways, I need to get back to work. I've been uploading my vlog since yesterday. I have high speed Wi-Fi. I mean, I have the highest that Xfinity offers. 
so I know it's not my Wi-Fi. It has to be YouTube. But, like, I started uploading my video. Um, I got it done yesterday and started uploading it, like, last night. Like, in a, was it the middle of the night? It was, it was either right before I went to bed or in the middle of the night. This video is still uploading. And I had to leave to go to the gym. So then I was off my Wi-Fi and on a gym Wi-Fi, which sucks. So, like, now I'm back home and it's still uploading. You know how much it sucks to do all that work trying to get it up on time? And then have an obstacle like freaking technology stop you from being great. That's how I feel right now. But the hair, it's, it's a frizzy now, but it was eating today. I was feeling it. I said, I'm going back to red. I'm going back to red. It's a lot lighter now than what it used to be. Because like when you, I washed it like three or four times since I first got it. Originally it was like a dark vampy red. Now it's more like a ginger color. But it's eating. Oh my God. On the way home. Okay. So me and old dude was outside walking. And when we were walking... Um, a guy passed me by and he was like staring me in my face. And don't get me wrong, Jim guy is big and he's tall. He's like six something and he's muscular. And this guy that's, that was walking past me, he was like maybe a little bit taller than me and like chubby or whatever. Anyways, you would assume that me and Jim guy were together as a couple, but this dude is full on staring me in my face. I'm like, what in the heck? Whatever. So me and Jim guy split up because like, I don't have them coming to my house yet. We went to a restaurant nearby, so I was able to walk home. Cause like, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not ready for him to know where I live at yet. Walking home, and I see this guy again, like across the street over there. So I said, okay, whatever, I'm ignoring him. Cause like, he's over there, like, there's no interaction. So I go to Target, leave Target, start walking to my house, and there he goes again. I'm like, here we go. Coming down the sidewalk, he's at the end of the sidewalk. The whole time I'm walking towards him, he's, he's like looking me in my face. I'm like, oh God, here we go. He said, I, I just wanted to ask you how you were doing. I'm like, no, you didn't. That's not what you would. I said, I'm good. So I try to keep walking. He was like, oh, he's like, I'm trying to get to know you. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. When I see a guy and I'm not interested and they try to talk to me, I get so like, I, I get the ick, you know? So, but I didn't say it to him. I was like, Oh, no. He's like, yeah, I don't know if you remember, but I saw you back on blah, blah, blah. I said, no, I don't remember you. I, I didn't even think I did. What did he say? He said something. I was like, oh, yeah, I was with, I was with, um, with that guy. He was like, yeah. He was like, you know, um, you, got a, you got a number you can give me? I said, no. He said, what are you taking? I'm like, didn't you just see me with a man? Didn't, didn't you just, like, maybe five minutes ago see me walking with a dude? Like, but I, I told him I was taking but he still wouldn't stop. He still would not stop. He was like, well, um, can we exchange information? Like, he said, you know, I make music. And I'm like, oh, God, when he said that, I almost threw up. Oh, my God. I've been there, done that. He with a guy, and he make music, and he ain't making no effort to actually get out there and promote his stuff and work hard on his career. Run for the hills. If he ain't doing no shows, I don't care if he's just at a little bar or something. If he ain't doing nothing, run for the hills. Anyways, he said, I do music. Oh my God, I almost threw up when he said that. Y you guys don't know what I've been through. But like my boyfriend, the one that I had previously, that I was with for like four years, he was one of those. I, I got I got PTSD from that. Anyways, but he just kept trying to get my number and he wouldn't take no for an answer. He's like, I do music. I said, okay, do you have like some social media, like Instagram or Facebook? Like, you know, I can look you up. I ain't, I ain't giving you my information. But I look you up. He's like, no, no, I don't have social media. I'm like, how are you making music if you're not on social media? How you hate with yourself out there if you're not on social media? They were trying to like ask me what I did for a living. And all that stuff. I said, I gotta go. They, they had enough nerve to say, you look like um that beautiful woman. What's her name? Megan Good. I'm like, sir. I said one thing. Thank you for saying I'm beautiful. But Megan Good, Megan Be Megan Good is just. Chef kiss all her life. Chef kiss. And I'm wrong. I don't think I'm ugly, but making good, <laughs> sir. I gotta go. I gotta go. And I'm proud of myself for saying no. You guys know I have the hardest time in these scenarios with saying no. But I said no, and I ran for the hills, which come with my help. Okay, that's what that's what's been going on for my day. But I need to go and work. So I just wanted to check in, guys, so I could open up this vlog. Yeah. All right, I'll check in with you guys later.
Good morning, guys. I wanted to show you what I was eating because I've been eating the same. Oh, that's my air fryer. <laughs> but I've been eating the same thing all week. So I just use one pack of this every morning, whichever one you want to. I put some raisins in there as well. So today I'm just using this one. And these are the chicken sausages I've been eating this week. These are from Aldi. Actually, these are both from Aldi. And then I have my eggs as well. My voice is so deep. I literally just got up here. So, mm, yeah. Hey, Bells. Good morning. It is Thursday. I'm going to the gym. My back is like, it's not horrible, but it's like, I can feel it. Today's leg day, though, so luckily I ain't going to pick up anything too heavy. Um, and then tomorrow, like I said, it's physical therapy, so I'm going to be off. And then Saturday, Saturday, oh. I'm so excited. A company here in Minnesota actually invited me out. I was telling you guys about this previously, but I couldn't go. It's called the Museum of Illusions. So um, it's at the Mall of America. So I'm going to go on there with my brother. Um, I'm actually excited about it. It looks so cool. It looks so freaking cool. But it was just sort of cool because like a company in my state was like, hey, we want to have you come out. This has only happened once before. This was years ago. The brand Alum invited me out to um, their fact. I think they actually invited me out twice. Did I go twice? I can't remember. But they invited me out to their company. They have to make perfume and candles, which I still have perfume and stuff from them. I love their fragrances. They're so beautiful. They were selling them at Target under the name Good Chemistry. I don't know if they're still there or not, but yeah. Anyways, but that's happening on Saturday. So, and then Sunday is church. So, um... I'll be off for a couple of days, let my back rest. I probably will just work out on my treadmill here. But today, uh, like I said, it's leg day. I'm actually really excited. I'm really pumped. Like, I have one leg day where I do, like, the hardcore stuff that I don't want to do. So, that, that's normally a Monday. And then, like, my Thursday leg day is more machine-focused. So, I can sort of relax a little bit. Cause like when I gotta do that Smith machine with those hip thrusts and those split leg squats. Oh my god! Oh, I'd be so exhausted. Then I gotta like lift like 500 pounds on that leg press. I'd be so exhausted. Today is more like leg extensions, leg curls. I'm, I'm gonna do some RDLs again today, and I'm gonna do um, the Bulgarian split squats. I'm still working on getting my balance with that, and I like that a lot. And then I want to really focus on getting my cardio done today as well. So I'm, I'm going to try to do like maybe 30, 35 minutes on the treadmill today. Um, I, I need to start jumping rope again. I had stopped when my back started hurting a lot because I was worried that maybe that was what was making my back hurt. But my back still hurt. So <laughs> apparently it's not the jump rope. And then my hair, it curled so tight, especially my bang. I know it's going to drop because in the gym it's humid. So it's going to drop because yesterday it dropped. But like it curled so tight. All I do is put some flexi rods in there, like like three flexi rods last night and slept in it. Um, and I'm ready to go. My hair was curled in the morning. But it's so tight. I need to get some ice in my pre-workout drink. the gym I gotta come home because this company sent me um who was it shape LOX before I left town I just randomly got a package in my door I'm like what is this and it was shape LOX like normally for them before we collaborate with each other we like message back and forth so like I know stuff is coming but I'm like but you know I was out of town I forgot the package was even here so I messaged them yesterday and they were like yeah we sent you some items we want you to do a video for us so now I gotta come home and do that video and then tomorrow, I got to do my Fashion Nova haul. I just did a Shein video with, like, African-inspired print boat. Because that's going to be my new look that I'm leaning into is going more African. That sounds so weird. <laughs> I'm, I'm black, you know? So, like, whatever. It's not an aesthetic, but, like, that's the look I want to be going for going forward. But um, I did a Fashion Nova order before I started thinking about this idea. So I got to do that video. And then I have another video that I filmed a week ago before I even did my Shein order. And I'm still waiting for that brand to reach back out to me. Like, this is what I don't like. When I collaborate with a brand and I complete my work and I submit it and I'm expecting my payment, 
I don't want you to go from when I email you, you respond back immediately to now all of a sudden you're ghosts. So like I filmed that video a week ago. It's been sitting on my YouTube channel unlisted. And I haven't heard back from this brand. I'm like, you emailed me to work with me. You messaged me back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Sent me the product. And like was corresponding great. Now all of a sudden the work is done and you're ghosts. So I spent my time like, I don't know if you guys remember in my last vlog I was telling you before I left town, I had to film and edit that day and then went out of town. So like, I spent my time that I did not have to get that video done ASAP because I don't like to have brands waiting around. Like when they send me products, I want to film ASAP and get the work submitted to them. So like, if I put that same effort in, I want that same effort back. So like now I'm mad because like I'm sitting here, the work is done, where's my money? You know what I'm saying? Like, where's my money? I've done the work. It's like if you go to a job, and you work for two weeks straight and then it's payday and you don't get your paycheck. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. So I'm mad. And it's messing up the flow because yet again, I want to start leaning more into the African style print stuff. And this video is not like that. So, but it's sort of throwing off the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for with my channel. So is she in the video? Oh my God. I don't know why or how, but it's like, it's getting a lot more views than I normally get on my channel, which I really appreciate that. But I don't know what I did differently that is triggering that because I want to find out what it is so I can keep getting those kind of views because like I have over 50,000 subscribers and I think less than 10% of my audience gets my videos which oh my god <sighs> but like whatever I did on this video is getting out there so I, I don't know what I did I don't know it's the luck of the draw let me get going before I'm sitting here chit chatting with you guys for like 25 minutes yeah I just left <laughs> Got halfway to the gym, and then my camera goes off and says the mailman's leaving the package. And she left before I could tell her, don't leave the package on the freaking porch. So I had to turn all the way back around and run back home to get the package. So I gotta leave again. Okay. We're gonna try this again. Let's see more. shapewear I look a lot better like the gym been gymming I'm gonna show you guys me without the shapewear and then I'm gonna put a split screen over here with me with the shapewear on so this is how I look oh, I'm gonna pull the camera back a little bit further hey guys I am what's today today is Friday I'm getting ready to go to physical therapy um which I'm sort of excited about because my back is so bad this week I think because I didn't take any days off I should have just went to the gym two days, took a day off, and then, then did two days again, but I didn't. Last night was like so painful. I could barely even sleep. I was just tossing and turning. I could not find a comfortable position to put myself in at all. I'm putting my brakes on to help with my back. I, I had to sleep with it half the night because my back was just screaming. I don't know what I want to do. I really don't want to get surgery. Like That terrified me. The idea of getting surgery on my back. And I already got to go see a doctor about that lump. I told you guys I have a lump in my back. I have to go see a surgeon about that because that's been hurting. So I'm like, that's possibly two surgeries on my back. 
I'm hoping it's just like a light polymer or something like that. Like something they can just do a small incision and pop it out, which sounds disgusting. But I don't know. I'm excited to go to physical therapy because like hopefully he can help alleviate some of this pain. I was like, I'm going to go to the gym when I get done with my appointment. I'm like, listen, no, you're not. No, you're not. And I still got to come home and film. This is still sort of wet, which is crazy. Cause that was like 12 hours ago. But um, I still have to come home and film my Fashion Nova video. So I want to try and fight this addiction to the gym and just come home and get my video filmed. These bangs don't never want to work with me. Oh God, they look rough today. Oh no. Look at my bangs. I don't have time for this. I have to leave in a couple of minutes. I don't know, I'm gonna have to pin this bag. Look, look at these bangs. What 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 is going on here? What What's going on here? Anyways, let me hurry up and get situation, situation. Let me hurry up and get situated so I can get out this door on time. But I just wanted to check in, let you guys know what was going on. All right, so I'm home from my hair is all over, girl. I'm home from physical therapy. I um, what was I gonna tell you guys? Oh, so I'm home to go physical therapy. Um, I met up with two. Like normally I go see the same guy, but this week he was out of the office, so I had to meet up with this girl. And she had an assistant with her or whatever. Anyways, but I had an incredible session. Um, they had me changing my ab routine because I was doing machines and like lifting my body weight and all this other stuff. They don't want me doing that anymore because they're thinking that's what's exacerbating my back. So they gave me some new workouts to do for my back. But the ones they had me doing, like I am so afraid to do them in public because they look so stupid. Like one of them is like a dead bug. I just got them filming my Fashion Nova video. But yeah, that was not African inspired either. So, but going forward, <laughs> we're gonna try and do that. And of course, I'm still gonna stay true to my style and do things that I like, even if it's not Afrocentric. Anyways, I'm eating lunch. I'm just doing my tacos. I've been tearing these tacos up. I love these shells because they have fiber in them. That's like seven grams of fiber for two, I believe. And then today I put some Greek yogurt on there. I, I mixed the Greek yogurt with garlic powder and a little bit of minced garlic. And whipped it up and put it on top. It's so good. I have cilantro, pepper jack cheese, and a little bit of um, sriracha on there. I only have two this time because, like, three is just too much. But I made two. I'm about to eat that. I'm so hungry. But after I've eating this, I have to go edit my video. Like, I wish to God I could afford an editor because if I could have an editor, I think filming would be so much more fun because, like, it would be half the work for one thing. Because, like, you know, I'm in charge of hair, makeup, lighting, filming editing i'm um, getting links creating a thumbnail responding to emails i do so much by myself you know so it's like if i had the weight of editing taken off my shoulder it would be so amazing but i can't afford an editor <laughs> baby no um but anyways i'm gonna eat i need to look at this video and edit it because it's like four o'clock already i'm like where did the day go where did the day go mm -hmm. oh that's good i mean it's so good i need to get some more ground beef the last bit of ground beef i have left and I'm not done with my fixation on these tacos. So, probably tomorrow. Oh, that's hot. Oh! <coughs> Girl! Oh, man. <laughs> a glutton for punishment. But probably tomorrow I'll go get um, some ground beef if I have time to. We'll see. But this is what it looks like. So good. Mmm. Okay, guys. So, guys, I'm in here trying to figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow to, like, this museum of illusions. And I'm like, I wanted to wear this because, like, it's an, it's an optical illusion outfit. But I'm going with my brother, and I do not want to look super sexy going out with my brother. That would just be so weird. And forgive my room. It's a hot, dirty mess in here. Y'all already know how it is. Anyways, but um, this is really cute, but it's just... Yeah, that's just it's too sexy it's too sexy so i'm gonna keep trying stuff on i need to go eat dinner it's like eight o'clock i haven't even ate dinner i just got done um editing my fashion nova haul video just got done it's eight o'clock and um i still gotta make the thumbnail though and get all the links oh god i don't want to think about it but <laughs> yeah but this outfit is so cute i haven't had a chance to wear it yet hopefully i get a chance to wear it this summer i want to look that's gonna like play with the theme of the museum 
So I don't know what I got in my wardrobe. I'm about to find something we're gonna see. So me, I don't want to dress too sexy. And then look what I got on. <laughs> this is not gonna work. Of course I would not be wearing this. I saw this first. I said, it would be cute with that skirt. I just wanted to try it on and see what it looked like. But this is a sexy outfit. Like maybe like for like a date night with somebody that I was real familiar with. But this would be sexy. And I love the way this skirt, like, oh, this is just fire. Just not this bra, of course. But yeah, that's just not going to work. I found an outfit I wanted to wear for tomorrow, but it's going to be raining. And the outfit I want to wear is pink. It's a pants set. And I don't want to be wearing that. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I have so much clothes. Like, <sighs> Guys, it is Saturday. I want to make sure I came on here and like showed you my outfit and spray my hair i'm wearing um it's called gardenia palm from good chemistry i don't even think they make this anymore i had to find it on macari not going with the theme of the museum which sort of teased me off but i could not find what i wanted to wear actually i found a cute outfit but the corset top which was brand new never even wore it before it was too big so i was like no i'm not gonna wear this come be uncomfortable the whole day I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to put a belt on with this or not. I don't know if this is adding to the outfit or not. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to look a little bit hard. I don't want to look hard. My boots is already hard. No, I don't like it. Okay. Then I have like my unicorn earrings on. And then it's cold. It's cold and rainy. So I'm gonna wear this over top. And I take it off if I get hot. Then I'm carrying this purse as well. Is it a look? Is it? Like I would prefer to be wearing my high heel, um, thigh high tan boots, but I'm not walking around the mall very good. My brother's trying to convince me to um, go to the the park. I don't do rides. We're trying to find a museum. We don't know where we're at. What is that? Is y'all talking to Nick and these damn Planet of the Eight movies? Who's watching all these Planet of the Eight movies? Um, but yeah, we're lost. Yeah.
that? Whoa, it's like falling into an abyss. Like we went to Piatas, it's crazy in here. But I went, got the Diablo with um, Italian sausage. They didn't have any more sun dried tomatoes that really peeped me off. And I got pepperoni stick. I haven't had it in years. I'm gonna tear this pepperoni stick That's up. Good. Devin got the um, the marinara. We got the marinara bowl with um, Italian peppers. I mean, no, yeah, peppers and hot sausage. Girl, don't get me started. But yeah, we finna eat. It's so crazy busy in here. I wish we would have came here in a week. It is insane. I think it's like Parmesan in here. I've been craving this for a year. I don't know why I came here and got some. It is pepperoni. Yep. She walked by and sneezed. Buy my food. I go off. Mm -hmm. Just that stick alone would work that way for me. You like it? That sausage is so good. That pepper is so savory and this is so crunchy. Big A plus. Uh, you remember this one? You, you, you and mom loved this one? Oolong tea. Did we? Oh no, that's passion fruit. Red sheesh suet apple? White peach, white strawberry, honey. I won't lie, this is a popular flavor. Get, get the one that's most popular. We, we back at this Asian store again. Like, it's crazy packed. Well, you can't see it now. Every time it gets packed in here, I have to pull the camera out. But it's like packed in here compared to last time. Last time it was so empty in here. But yeah. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a, it's a fruit jelly. Oh, mm -hmm. my package like that. Okay. They got stuff every single place you could think of. Look at her outfit, her outfit's cute, yes. She a little chilly there. You gotta pull out um, Google Translate. What was that for? Is that a Pepsi? Yeah. Wow. It's a Japanese Pepsi Cola. I didn't even see that. <laughs> My brother got cotton candy ice cream <laughs> with Reese's Cup Oreos and sprinkles. And I got the Oreo Devotion with Reese's Cups. 
like chocolate and cotton candy ice cream. <laughs> oh god, help me. Um, last time I checked in with you was what? I want to say Saturday. I want to say Saturday. Yesterday was busy. I was cleaning my room. I had to wash some of my wigs. I had to do my nails. I had to um, do laundry. Like, oh, a lot of stuff happening yesterday. I was just like, and yesterday was supposed to be like a rest day for me. It did not happen. Anyways, I want to get some groceries because I want to do... I want to start showing you guys better in depth about what I'm eating. So, like, hopefully to help you. I still have a tune. It's been a minute. Anyway, so I went to all these. I went to Target. My mind is always so scattered. I want to get, like, anything I'm craving at the moment. But I'm trying to be within a budget to keep this budget friendly because everybody doesn't have spending money. And I understand that all too well. So I'm just trying to keep a budget friendly is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, tell me, before I get into that, like, it's been raining all day. So, like, I was leaving the gym and walking to Aldi's, and I see this black woman come out of Aldi's, and she had a baby, like an infant, on her on her hip, and she's running. And I'm like, why is she running from the rain? I said, it's, it's so dangerous, because, like, it was raining pretty good at that moment, and she has sneakers, and she has a baby on her hip, and she was a pretty, not fat, but she was a thick woman, like, she had some size on her. And she's running with this baby. I'm like, and I'm watching her the whole time. I'm like, oh my God, if she falls, if she falls, if she falls. So I'm watching her the whole time. She gets to her car. She has like this big old cream colored car. It was really nice. Um, she get, she hops in the driver's seat. And I, I, all of a sudden, like a couple seconds later, I see an employee come out. I'm like, oh no. And so she's behind her, like on her phone or whatever. I, I, I'm guessing she's given a license plate number. I'm like, why would you? She literally standing behind the car. I'm like, that girl's gonna hit you with your with the car if you don't move. But the girl, she just thankfully it was open in front of her, so she pulled out and skirted off. So the the employee came out and it was a security guard came out. But I was like, what did she do? Cause she didn't have anything on her. It was just a baby. She didn't have no bags, or I couldn't see anything like stuffed in her shirt. But she was running, so I wasn't really looking like that. I was just making sure I'm watching her footsteps to make sure she don't slip and fall while she's running with this baby. But she got in the car, was in there for a couple seconds, and then, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, she must have been stealing. And maybe she was doing, like, card fraud or something, because, like, or maybe she abandoned the groceries. I don't know. But I'm just like, my mind, I'm like, she drove off so hard and so fast, she could have hit somebody and killed somebody. I know she didn't secure her child, because she jumped in the car and was only in the car for a couple seconds and then peeled it off. So I'm like, is the baby okay? Did she just throw the baby in the seat and he's just in the car just flying everywhere? It was crazy. And I'm like, I don't want to judge her because, like, she got a small baby. She might have been stealing some infant milk or something. Groceries is high. Groceries is high. I don't know what she was in there doing, but that was crazy. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I got. You guys know I always get chips. I always have to have chips in the house. Um, I got some English muffins. I'm going to be doing, as you guys can see, I have a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to be doing egg whites, um, chicken breasts sliced cheese and English muffin. That's actually going to be my lunch. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just what I've been craving. Um, so that's going to be quick and easy and prepared so that when I come home from the gym, I can throw it in the air fryer. And um, for breakfast, I've actually been craving like a scramble. Where did I put the sausage at? Oh, and just so you guys know in advance, I spent $15 at Aldi's. And then I spent $4 at Target. And then my chicken is from Sam's Club. That was $5. So this is going to feed me for the week. And then, of course, I already have protein powder in the house, so I have that. But I get this. This is what it looks like. I hate meat in a tube, but this is the only way they serve it, so. But it, it's actually really good. The only thing I add onto this is Italian seasoning. That's it. But um, this is turkey sausage, so I'm going to be scrambling this. Some eggs and egg whites. Um, probably going to add a little bit of cottage cheese for more protein. I still have some cottage cheese from last time. Um, and then I have... These crispy rounds. So I want to have these crispy rounds, the turkey sausage and eggs, like a scramble. And then you can put whatever vegetables you want to on there. I got some spinach. And I got some sliced cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want to. I prefer this one because it's like, like the fat girl in me likes American cheese. 
So I got American cheese for my um, English muffin sandwiches. But yeah, so this scramble's gonna be for breakfast. And then for dinner, I'm gonna use some more of that rotisserie chicken. But this, this is a lot of chicken. Like once you debone it, it's so much chicken. I was gonna do like the hamburger and this same macaroni again, cause it was so good. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna use the, the chicken cause it's leaner. So, um, and you get a lot of protein in the chicken. So I have the smoked good macaroni and cheese from Aldi, which is so fire. I'm gonna mix this together with some of that spinach, probably some tomatoes and peppers. Just use what you have in your house. Oh, then I, my sweet tooth, I got some chocolate chip cookies. So like, you guys can see, I eat my junk food and my healthy food too, because I gotta have both. I know I'm supposed to be on this sugar fast, guys. That, that thing died hard. It died hard. I don't know what I was thinking. I shouldn't even have tried because I told you guys I am the worst. What is that? Something just ran by. But I am the worst at fasting. I just, I tried. I think I went a week, six days. <laughs> so then I broke my fast. Then I went back on my fast. Then I broke my fast again because like we had, what, ice cream on Saturday? And then I had leftovers because I got the big one. I got, I don't know what I think. I, I think my mind just forgot because like it was so much stimulation at the mall. It was insane. And so I got the big one. I'm like, I can't eat this. So I had ice cream in the freezer for days. I'm just eating some of it like every day until it was gone. And then I had that piatas and that was so much food. So I was eating off of that like three or four times. You know, it's just like I can only eat so much at one time. But yeah, the, the fast, I don't know. I'm going back to moderation. I'm going back to eating my snacks and stuff in moderation because I just can't do a sugar fast. Anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff away. I wanna cook, but I gotta edit. Oh, and then I went and got my B12 shot today. Um, but I wanna edit. Oh, she hurt me? God, when she shot me, I was like, my mom was laughing because me and her, we go together to get our shots. And she was just like, because I was like, it, it hurt so bad. It felt like I got pierced twice. Like, I don't know. And my mom, she was like, as soon as she saw the nurse, she was like, she's the one that always hurts us. I was like, oh, no. Is she, girl? I almost, like, not, not on purpose, but out of reflex, I almost elbow her to the face. Anyways, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm going to put this stuff away so I can get to work. And I probably, because it's, what time is it? It's 3 o'clock. I don't know. We'll see. All right, I'll check in later. Today. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. I'm in here making my breakfast and getting my food weighed out. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer. I don't add any seasoning to them, but you can if you want to. I have my turkey sausage brown in here. All I did was put some Italian seasoning in here and then some onion. I don't really add anything else to that. I'm gonna finish this. I already have my eggs done. I just put some cottage cheese in there to make them a little bit more. Um, what do you call it? So they have more protein in there? You ain't got to do that if you don't want to. Because I know everybody don't, don't mess with cottage cheese like that. But that's what I did. So, yeah. I'll show you guys when I'm done. So these are the egg whites I use. These are from Aldi's. I just do one egg white and then one regular egg. Okay, guys. So breakfast is done. It looks so good. I put some jalapenos on there. Some salsa. And then a little cottage cheese on top to use it like sour cream almost. So I'm just going to scramble it all together and just eat. And then I also put the macros on the screen for you. If you want to have even lower calories, instead of using these pre-made potatoes, you can actually cut up a raw potato. So I got my lunch ready. It is an egg, English muffin, three ounces of brown chicken, and spinach and cheese. Right now I'm making um, a protein shake, but I want coffee too, so I'm putting coffee in there. And I'm gonna use just a little bit of, of this, um, I was gonna say creamer, what is it called? Almond milk. This is, I got the unsweetened vanilla. It's like only 30 calories for like eight ounces. What is it? So yeah, for one cup, that's eight ounces. But I just wanna put enough in here to turn this color. That's not eight ounces, believe me. And I have some sugar-free vanilla, or is it French, it's French vanilla just to add some sweetness to it. The um, the protein powder is gonna add some sweetness to it too, but yeah, but I'm gonna do, I have one hand. I'm gonna do one scoop of this and put it in here and shake it up. It's going to be filled to the brim, but it'll still shake, thankfully, because of that metal ball. 
It looks all fancy at the bottom. I'm, I'm out of camera to make it look, but. I just went ahead and checked in today. It's Tuesday. Today, um, I had to get up and work, so I didn't go to the gym today, which is shocking because today is arm and back day. And I love arm and back day. Stay home today because I had to film this hair review for this beautiful, beautiful wig. And then after that, I went for a walk. I don't know how many. Let me see. I'm wearing my Fitbit again. Let me see how many steps I've gotten. I, I just picked on before I left. I don't know how to work this thing anymore. I did 7,971 steps. How many miles is that? I don't even know. Oh, I didn't say. I was walking for 71 minutes. Wow. So, yeah, I went for a walk because the weather is so beautiful. Um, so, look at this tan line, you guys. Can y'all see that? Oh, my God. It looks so ratchet. Um, so, I went for a walk. And right now, I'm going to go edit the video I just filmed this morning so I can get it done. I'm trying to keep pumping out content. I'm trying. I have some videos already preloaded and ready to go. So, I'm just trying to be consistent with putting out more content. So, yeah, I'm going to go to work. I'll check in with you guys probably tonight for dinner. Yeah. So guys, I'm finally making dinner. I'm, make, I'm making that macaroni. This stuff. I'm making this. This time I'm eating chicken. I'm gonna put some seasonings on it. I have some lemon pepper, Italian, and then garlic. I'm gonna wait to season it and cook it before um, I add any salt because I might not need any. So I'm gonna wait and see. And if I do add some salt, you guys know I always use the Himalayan pink salt. I forgot to have my chicken done. I just added a little bit of garlic to it. I'm gonna pour it into the pasta and just stir it up. This is like 14 ounces of chicken. I didn't realize it was so much. This is gonna be really high protein. I took some of that chicken and put it on the side. I have some more of these um, taco shells left. I get tired of eating the same thing. I have something else to eat. So. Yeah, anyways, I have these and salsa and cheese and cilantro and everything. So. Okay, guys, my food is done. If you see like little white lumps in there, I added some cottage cheese. I'm trying to get as much protein as I can. You don't have to do that. That's like totally optional, but it's just like, it's just cheese. Three and a half servings per box. Let me sure I got that right. Yeah, so it's three and a half servings per box. So I just portioned out what was in the pot. And then on the side, I have some cauliflower broccoli, kale. It's just mixed vegetable mix like I like Target. So this is my dinner for today. Dinner, and I took the rest of it in the pot and put it in these containers. And I have enough for three more meals. There's a lot still in here. So I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator and I'll have them for the next couple of days. Guess who's back, y'all? <laughs> you see where he's walking? <laughs> y'all, I cannot stop eating this. It's just, well, of course I can't. I prepared it for breakfast this week, but it's so freaking good. Um, what I'm doing different this time, I have spinach all over the bottom of the bowl. So it's like a bed of spinach. And then I have some Greek yogurt in here. I'm using that like sour cream. And I have salsa. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. outdoor noise somebody's outside cutting or i don't know anyways oh so me and my brother are about to go out to go get some mexican food Yo, i wanted to show y'all look at my belt look how big it is i only have one loop left I've, I've never even worn this belt before only like for pictures so today's my first time wearing it but it's like it's crazy 
Anyways, I got this outfit from Fashion Nova. Actually, everything I'm wearing is from Fashion Nova. My outfit is Fashion Nova. I paired it with these black boots. I think I want to, I was planning on buttoning this up, but I don't know. Well, that's sort of cute though. Well, that's cute open too. I don't know. This is my first time wearing this outfit too. I have so much clothes I've never worn before. Me and my brother would go out on these excursions because we're both introverts. So like, I, I don't know if he's felt inspired by my journey, but like he's trying to get out more too. So we just tend to go out on the weekend. I ain't got no man. So <laughs> it's not like I'm doing anything on the weekend except sitting in the house anyways. And I, I enjoy spending time with my brother. So it's like, yeah. So this is how it looks tucked in. I have my little African necklace on. This is from, I want to say Janet Collection. I gotta see if they still have it. If, I, if they do, I'll link it down below. I need some lotion for my hands. Well, this is sort of sexy. I like my butt look. I, that's why I hate wearing a belt. I just feel like my butt just looks funny. I don't know. So then to like correlate my necklace, I have um, my orange bag which has gold detailing on there. It's supposed to be raining today. Um, so I don't know how that's gonna work. May I bring like a raincoat with me or something like that. But yeah, this is the outfit for today. Cinco de Cuatro. <laughs> Anyways, this vlog is probably going to be really long because I was editing it last night and then here comes Cash. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't seen Cash. I was just thinking about Cash. I was just thinking about him. I'm like, yes, yes, please, yes, Cash, please. So um, when he came over, I just stopped doing what I was doing because I wanted to play with him. So I'm going to try to get this vlog up for you guys. Your guys' advice. Because right now, I don't know what to do. But we'll discuss that when I come back home. All right, let's get going. Oh, and then can you see my outfit? I don't know, I'm staring really close. Hi, ah, you're so cute. Oh, he's so fluffy. I just want to kiss him. Anyways, this is the outfit. <laughs> okay, bye. That thing look burnt and crunchy at the same time. Ooh. Okay guys, I'm back. Okay, so, <laughs> like I was saying, I need you guys' help. So on Wednesday, I was on my way to the gym, and um, you guys know I walked to the gym, so it was a guy pulling out of the bank. The traffic was clear for him to go through, but I, I wanted him to go through because it was so busy. He was like, no, look, go ahead, wave me through. I had my headphones on, so I couldn't hear. So I walked past, I, I'm thinking I'm hearing somebody behind me, like yelling, but I couldn't, I was like, I don't know. So I keep walking, and he pulls up beside me. First he asked me, where I was going, do I need a ride? I'm like, no. He's like, why not? I said, I don't get the car with strangers. So he started laughing. He's like, okay, I understand. So then he was like, hey, well, can I get your number so like, I can take you out? So I looked at him for a minute. I'm like, don't give him my number? I was like, okay. He hands me his phone to put his number in. And I'm like, I'm outside the car. So I'm like, what if I just run off with your phone right now? Like, why would you just give me your phone unlocked? I could just, you know. He's like, no, you ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna do that. Shh. I'm not, but somebody else could. But I, th I thought it was hilarious. So he like, hit you up so we can go out, whatever. So he was like, how old are you? I was like, I didn't even think about that. I said, hold a minute, I didn't think about that. How old are you? He was like, 29. I'm like, oh my God, I said, no. I said, why does this keep happening to me? So he asked me my age, I told him my age. He was like, no, it ain't, it ain't wrong with that for me. I was like, whatever. I don't know, I'm like, why do these young men keep hitting on me? I don't know what it is. And don't be wrong, I do, prefer to date somebody younger because I've been alone for a long time and I want somebody who's youthful and has a lot of energy because like I have a lot of energy and like I work out and I like being outdoors not a lot because <laughs> nothing compares to the comfort of home but like I do want somebody who has energy because like I want to reclaim so many years that, that were lost because I was single during those times you know but I'm like 29 and then gym dude is 28 I'm like what is up with these dudes in their 20s hit me up whatever so um we split up, I walked to the gym, and I'm like, I hope you don't take three days. You know how guys get your phone number and then it take like three days to contact you? I said, I'll be one of those guys, because I do not like those kind of guys. But he texted me immediately as I was walking to the gym. He like, locked my number in. So I said, okay. So I, I get to the gym, he texted me again. And he texted me, what did he say? He said something like, what's up with you? I need you. And I'm like, you need me? So I text him back like, what you mean? Like you need me, like you don't even know me. So I'm like, is he, does he mean that in a, in a sexual way? Or am I like 
trying to, am I looking too deep into it, you know? So I sent it back with like a, a sweaty smiley face. I'm like, what does that mean? But like for you to be like, you need me, that was just like, I took it as sexual. And I'm like, the first message that you send me, if that's sexual, I'm good. But he was like, something like I'm trying to spoil you. I'm like, what do you mean by that? I need more details. And like the conversation ended. And I didn't hear from him until yesterday. So I had just wrote it off like, you know, he had my phone number, like maybe I wasn't giving him the vibes that he was looking for it. Maybe he wanted me to be like real down for whatever real quick, I don't know. But then yesterday he texted me like, um, I'm sorry, I've been busy as 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 hell or whatever. But I didn't respond back. So I'm like, I ain't heard from you since, what, Wednesday? So yes, yesterday was Friday. So what was that, two days? I just thought it was odd because like his read receipts are on. So like, he saw my message, but he didn't respond. I'm like, it takes two seconds to respond to somebody's text. I don't want to be entertaining somebody who doesn't want to be communicative. Like that's very important to me. It's very important to me. If I have to like wait around, wait around, wait around to hear back from you, or if it's days that you don't talk to me and you're comfortable with that, that's not, it, it don't jive with me. Cash is just all over my legs, but it doesn't make, it makes me feel some kind of way. Like, I want a man who's enthusiastic about me, who is, I don't want to say chasing, but like pursuing, you know? Cause like, you don't want me slipping through your fingers. Cause like, when you find something that's good, you you want it and you go after it. That's like somebody handing you like a million dollars and you like, oh, and just walking away from it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I'm a million dollars, but <laughs> like, that kind of not having the energy to go, the, the wherewithal, like the, the thrust, like, you know what? Like, pursue me, you know what I'm saying? So, like, now I'm feeling some kind of way, like... And he texted me again this morning, like, you know, he sent me a good morning text. And I still haven't responded. And I'm like, do I want to entertain this? Am I being too harsh? You know? But it's like, why did it take you two days to respond back to me? And I'm like, do you got a girl? But I'm like, what I'm asking you guys is, am I being too harsh cutting it off? And when I cut somebody off, I just cold turkey cut off. I don't even communicate with you anymore. I, I don't give you a dismissal letter saying this is why I'm cutting you off. I just don't respond anymore. So I'm like, am I being too harsh cutting him off? Or should I just see where things go? I don't know. I don't know. Just, it's, it's this new generation for me. I just, I, I don't know. It's so funny because I'm like, I was telling you guys I'm looking to get out there, have experiences with men, just have fun, you know. And of course I'm looking for my husband. Well, I'm looking for him to find me, however you want to say that. But um, I want to have experiences and, and still have fun. I don't want to also be disrespected, you know. I want somebody who's going to respect me, so I don't know. Anyways, you guys weigh in. What should I do? Please tell me. Please, please give me some advice. I'm going to end this vlog and I will see you guys in the comment section. All right, I'm gonna put with Cash because he's getting. Oh, come here, Cash. Let's say goodbye. Come here. I got you. I got that, babies.